Entire neighborhoods gone, families trapped within their homes. This is Houston, and it's where members of the Kentucky National Guard, trained to be at their best during the worst, are going. We've been ready to go since Sunday when the, when the talk started. Uh, we're anxious to just get there now. Not knowing what they'll face or even when they'll return, the guardsmen have packed for weeks. And then there's this, 90 tons of equipment loaded up late Tuesday night on two C-17s. We'll go down there, and if there's nothing, we can set up generators, we'll have power, we'll have our own water, our own food, our own fuel, all that to operate down there. Humvees and forklifts among the heavy equipment that will help 41 guardsmen establish and facilitate the evacuation of medical patients. And this is our chance to go help. It doesn't matter, Texan, Kentuckian, uh, Mississippian, it doesn't matter. We just want to go help our fellow citizens for sure. And in fact, they already are. 26 Kentucky Guardsmen deployed earlier in the week are in Texas, many spending Tuesday patrolling for opportune rescues. But the men who will soon join them know there's much more to be done. It's like the football player that practices all week and gets ready to play on Friday night. I mean, this, this is it's game time for us, so it's, it's very exciting, very rewarding. back here live tonight. Once these airmen are aboard the C-17, we know the first half of those guys are waiting for takeoff right now at this moment. The flight is about two hours and 45 minutes. Once they land in Houston, Rick Vicky, they will get to work immediately, staging operation centers so they can begin to evacuate people from nursing homes and hospitals. Now, we do not have a timeline on just how long they will be out there, but we do know more deployments from right here in Louisville are possible. Reporting live here tonight at the base, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.